So here you have that viewer. I'm going to take these two files, drag them into the map window, and it won't take long before the images load up. You can see these two strips almost overlay perfectly, but they're, they're, the acquisition times are completely different. And you can tell just by looking at these these images how, how much different they really are. If you look at the, the base of one, the, the offset is quite substantial. Here you have the, the ground locked in at both, where you have this top of the building is actually supposed to be over here. Uh, but because of the parallax difference in these buildings, um, you can actually get the elevation of that building just by measuring that parallax difference. So if we were to consider this ground elevation at 616 meters, and we were to uh, adjust the parallax so that we're now on top, so that the cursor, if you will, is now on top of the imagery, we're more at, uh, give or take, we're at about uh, 736 meters. So that difference is going to be your elevation height of the building. If we want to collect the features associated with this building, I would simply go into my catalog and you know create a new a new shapefile layer and then add the same projection information using this this imagery over here as the as the projection information. However, I already have that done and I won't go through that. But I can just grab this, drag and drop it into the viewer and start uh, editing features. And right away you can see that I have these uh, rooftop collection features which is comes complete in the feature assist add-on for ArcGIS that we offer so I'm just going to select this root plate, uh, flat rooftop option but as you can see we have cone types uh, gabled roofs any kind of roof type you can imagine uh, it makes it easy for collection in that environment so I would just uh, F3 to get into this uh, stereo environment I have my my topo mouse or you know ZI mouse set up so that I can drive in and out of this imagery if I wanted to and I've got the, the zoom function set up and then I would just collect the you know two corners uh, two or three corners in this case um, to collect that, that one rooftop and if I zoom out again that collects the top and then I would adjust the Z so that I'm on the ground. I can also use the snap to ground function if I have that enabled, which I do. And then I can just extrude that roof base. And as you can see, I now have that building collected. And you can see in the tri viewer, the two mono views below where you have uh, where you have the, the top of the building, you know, leading to the left and the top of the building kind of leading to the right over here. Um, that then gives you a three-dimensional uh, object which can then be used in Google Earth very easily by exporting to a KML file and you could open that up in Google Earth and, and drive right to it. So that's how you collect features in a stereo environment from a project created in Imagine Photogrammetry Suite or even ImageStation for that matter. Here, was the, here would be the import project options where you would import the project as opposed to importing the uh, stereo pairs from the oriented image data that I calibrated beforehand.